Um, we actually met on a blind date. My family's a little weird with regards to the age difference, but my oldest brother, um, he has a daughter that's a little, a uh, few years older than me, and they set us up on a blind date, her and her boyfriend. And they, right before we were about to go, they break up, so our date gets canceled. And we'd been planning it for about six months. So I, I call her ex-boyfriend, I say, hey, I still wanna go, just let him know. And he called me and we went. It was a completely blind date. I just, I looked at places that we could go where she was staying at the time. And gelato seemed like a good option. But I hate gelato and I didn't wanna tell him. And so thankfully when we drove to the gelato place, it was closed down. And so I was like, oh, I happen to know of a frozen yogurt place a few blocks away. It was actually the third date in three days that I had with three different girls. So I had some, I had some options and she was the best pick. We knew pretty quick. Um, I didn't want to get married as soon. At first I was like, oh, I'm not going to be one of those typical BYU girls that gets married really fast or really young. But once I met him, it was one of those things that I didn't want to be without him. So it worked out. Uh, if, if we hadn't been married at the time, I don't know if we would have still been together because just so many things happened that would have pulled us apart. Her moving to Texas without me if, I ha if we weren't married would have been the big thing, but it just was a perfect timing and really worked out. We try to plan our schedules so that we're going to class at the same time um, or he's going to class when I have soccer. That way we have a short window before we're transitioning and passing off the keys to the next person. So. Yeah, I mean, it's some days are better than others. There are days where we maybe see each other for 10 minutes and then other days we have the entire day together, so. We usually have like a good hour between her practice and my, and my tutoring that we just get to spend together. And then after I get back, we'll probably, we usually eat dinner around then or she has dinner for me because I've been working. And we have some time before we go to bed and then, you know, we walk to class together too. Oh, we're used to because we just moved to a new apartment, so we'll probably ride the bus together. Everybody's really supportive and they know Sean and they love him, so that always helps that, I mean, he's tutoring them, <laughs> so they really like him. I tutored before in California. I have tutored at a mathnasium, and then I spent two years on a mission teaching people, and so I kind of just have a lot of experience teaching and it just seemed like a good choice right now for our family. It's great. I mean, I know that a lot of people can counsel with me and I'm not one to share those types of secrets and so I've really enjoyed that, you know, kind of being the go-to person if somebody needs advice. I feel like they have a great like team personality because everybody's so different in so many ways. Like there's some girls who are quiet but they're really funny and then there's girls who are really loud and they're really nice to everybody. It's just, it's, it's a really good mix.